No, I don't think so. No, but the what kind of lock oh. is it? Is it just a regular lock, like master lock or whatever? You go over and take a look at it. It is a master lock, but the interesting thing is it's not actually locked. It's hanging so it looks like it's locked, but somebody didn't go chunk and lock oh, it. I take it out. Uh, sure. On the one that is uh, for east, east or west? East. Or the one with the heavy machinery. East. Got it. Okay. You take it off. Ha ha. It could be your lock now. Oh, I just realized. Andy, let me trade you a card and you trade me this back. Because I'm pretty sure you want this. If it's just the trade I you want. Card, card, she would love a lock fix that. Um, just whatever you want, doesn't matter. It could be rubbish. I would I would like to point out that if you have lock picking and once you get a lock pick set, you will be the only person in this group that has that skill, hence making that valuable skill. You might want to do that, I'm just saying. Yeah. I want to use the heal card and heal two hit points. Nice. Cards matter. Thank you for remembering that. You're welcome. <laughs> You guys are staying there. It's dang, cold, smelly. You see a what looks to be a normal rat floating by and a turd looking defensive about it, like this is mine, all is mine, and it just floats by and you guys are like, Ugh. Do I so we... have any Oh no. <laughs> no. Uh your, your adventuring boots are bone dry on the inside. You're really digging these hardcore boots. <laughs> They're like Doc saying... Martens, but more primitive. Do either of you have anything to like mark the walls so we don't get lost? Hey, look at you for a moment. Uh, Do I? I don't think so. I don't no. think I have like anything. Perfect. So Wait, don't worry. No, I I'll just... describe the places when you go back to them. I'm sure you can't get lost. I, I know what I'll do. I'll just briefly activate my lightsaber, scorch a bit of the wall okay. with it, and then yeah. put it back. You're wondering how long the battery lasts as you do that and go, oh. It's a lightsaber. It should last forever. Well, basically forever. Well, if it, if it acted like a normal lightsaber, you could put holes in, in uh, stone walls. Oh, yeah, and good point. And stuff, right? Well, I'm not using it like for hours. It's just briefly. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I'm sure nothing could go wrong here. Yeah. I mean, sure, he made it out of a pile of junk you found in some futuristic world, but... <laughs> <laughs> what could happen? Yeah. So you're heading east? Yeah. All right. You have, you have choices as you go through the tunnels and stuff. There are different ways that you could go out, although you do hear scary noises coming from up there. Uh or you have uh, a tunnel you could go into that smells kind of funny, or you could go through a long tunnel. Smells funny. What does it smell like? Yeah. Uh, give me smell rolls. If you make it, give me chemistry roll. You know your flame starts flickering and burning strange blue colors when you get close to it, Corey, in your Coleman lantern. Methane? Uh huh. Yeah, you're, that, kid. you're thinking you should back away quickly before you blow up because you're yeah. like, holding an open flame. That's not good. No, he's like no backing away. So long tunnel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, right. You avoid another tunnel with uh, poison gas, and you go by somebody's left some graffiti <laughs> on the wall that says "Dagon will rise again." I recognize Dagon. Uh, yeah, go for it. I vaguely. The name is a bell. I don't know where I've heard it from. Yeah. It's I don't know. Eventually, uh, uh, um, eventually, she'll be chanting it with her friends and attempting to summon. No. Oh. No. <laughs> no. No? Okay. Right, yeah, um, bad dude, but I can't tell you about him. And eventually, the the tunnel uh, dead ends. 
I fumbled my Cthulhu mythos. Oh, it's it's the it's a party creature. If you summon it, it brings a party. Uh, you think it's referred to as the pants creature by some? Oh, I really like this Should I roll that, uh, or are you two just doing it? Yeah, you can. I mean, you've never heard of the pants creature. Everyone knows the pants creature. <laughs> Corey got it right away. He's like, you wacko Logan. So uh, you guys are then forced to backtrack. Um, pretty much, uh, unless you want to go into any of the tunnels with uh, that turn his uh, Coleman Lantern Flame odd colors and uh, make him nervous and jumpy, unless you want to go into those, you're back to the modern sewers. There's another grate. Uh, the, it's the great maze, 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 machine grate. Shallow water, shallow water, shallow water place. Want to go check out the machine? I'm curious. What they are. Yeah. You guys head over and check out that grate. That one's locked. Like for real lock? My... Yeah, for real lock. I pull up my crowbar. All right. Give me a straight roll. Fuck this lock in particular. Yeah. <laughs> That's the kind of shoot it off where you get ricochets. You yank the lock off and you're able to go in. It seems to be some sort of big pumping machine. Go ahead and give me uh, heavy machinery rolls or uh, mechanical repair rolls. Oh, wow, I know it. Oh, my God. I know it. You think it's a water desalination machine? You don't have oh. the water. Oh. I know, wait, wait, wait a minute, where are we? Because I know what, huh. I swear, okay, because I know that, I believe it was Joshua who set up a water desalination, the, 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 whatever the fucking word is, um, <laughs> I'd set up a system in the Biscayne lands, and that's how they're able to basically clean their water. So if this is here. As he says that, one of you guys finds a small Australian flag logo on the machine, which is just weird because this looks like a very modern machine. And give me a direction sense roll, Freddy. Uh, this is going to go well. It's that learn, so. Perfect. It's always best to try new things. Yep. Hmm, you say. All right, so, guys. Well, good news. We're not in cyberpunk anymore. I don't think. Maybe? Question mark? I don't know. But this is good because we might be in the beast king sewers, I think. I don't they both know. yell what at you several times until you get your point across as the machinery is very loud here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, I don't suppose anyone left markings along the wall to say this way out or something. Uh, no, there's there's a lot of different burn marks, scratches, and stuff like that along the walls left left by so many different groups of PCs. <coughs> that it pretty much has become incomprehensible. Do they lead somewhere? If you like, follow them or. Uh, they lead everywhere, actually, because they uh, a lot of the groups have been through uh, certain parts of this. So, unfortunately, it's pretty much just guess. I feel oh, like... Is yeah, there a way out of this room, or no? No, it, it dead ends here. Just a big machine in this room. Oh. Um, I'm going to try something. I'm going to go on the bracelet, and I want to contact one of the two siblings and i want to be like uh, they were told not to mess with the bracelets and so they they don't respond to your connection oh. right. <laughs> the pcs were like you leave those alone now and they were like okay why did you tell them this who knows all right um yeah well 
there should be a way out. I think. That that would stand a reason. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Um. Well, there's one more graded area, right? Correct. Well, we'll just go check that one out. Cool. You go over to the graded area. It looks to be locked. It's not locked. You take off lock, go through it. Yeah. Goes into a tunnel, and it goes into another tunnel that either continues on, or there's a side tunnel you can check out that has a sign on it. That says "For Sale by Owner." And it has a phone number and an arrow pointing deeper in. I feel like that way's the way to go. I don't <laughs> know why. Just maybe. You should try and call oh. the number, Fred. Don't have a phone on me. What? What happened to all yeah. the phones that you used to carry around? Uh, well, two of them blew up. Being blown <laughs> up, shot out of his hand, falling into the water. <laughs> yeah, Montage <laughs> sequence. <laughs> Aliens taking it. You and know. I really doubt there's a reception signal down here anyway. So... Well, let's follow the arrow. I uh, kind of, yeah. Hmm? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. It dead ends in a very small uh, room that is theoretically possible to live in, but you wouldn't really want to. And what, it's, um, there's a sign on that says it's a fixer upper. <laughs> well, okay. Is there anything in the room? Um, there's there's uh, um, some rags and stuff like that. It looks like uh, somebody really messy once lived here and then took most of their mess with them. Is there any rags big enough to make togas out of? No. But it's a good try. Take a card for thinking outside the box. Don't worry. I'm sure that there's some togas somewhere around here because there's a lot of weird shit in these sewers, apparently. Wrong button, sorry. Plus, these rags are exceptionally dirty. All right. I don't suppose, just by chance, do I hear sounds of mining anywhere? No, I'll let you know if you do. Okay. The main I know that. Yeah. The main tunnel you were going on does seem uh, much more cleared out than the uh, other stuff. I mean, the side passage is a little weird diversion, but the main tunnel seemed pretty cleared out. Um, so we can keep well, going I down the main tunnel? Yeah, because I know they were, they were mm -hmm. working on clearing out the tunnels. In one of those. The, so maybe that's their work, basically. Yeah, let's go down the main tunnel. You guys head down the main tunnel. There's a, there's a lot of storm drains as you go. I mean, it's possible to get out through them, but from the noises you can hear from the storm drains, it sounds like buildings being torn down and fed into a giant shredding machine. So not cool. You continue down that until eventually, it looks like there's two, uh, you come into an area that looks like it's been dug out with claws. There's like claw marks in the walls. And you have several different directions you can go here, either uh, there's a cleared tunnel that you can continue through, or you can go to a different uh, area that looks like it has roots hanging down from the cave that have been cut back, or there's another area that has stalagmites and stalactites in it, Wait. There's, and then after that it's flooded. There's another area with slimy floors, and then there's another way you could climb down and another way you could climb down. So two different tunnels that would require you climbing down. Slimy floors, stalagmites and stalactites ended in flooded, roots cut back, or kind of clear tunnel heading on. Um, the stalagmites and stalactites, but uh, do they remind me of the cave that was in Dino Land? No. No. Okay. Because I remember there were some there as well. Mm 
Yeah, you uh, have nothing burden to go to Dino Land again because that would just <laughs> make your fucking day. You hate yeah. that so much. Do we want to go towards the cleared area? Continue that yeah, way? I feel like they'd be safer. Maybe. Okay. And the camera focuses in on her when she says that. Cut to you guys walking. Pretty soon you start to notice that there's like niches cut out of the walls and like skulls and stuff placed in them. And as you go, more and more skulls. And it's becoming an ossuary. Like one of the places where they used to, like when people die and then they turn them into bones and then stack up the bones and stuff in there. It's getting progressively creepier. So that direction. Great. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't sound happy with her choices. Can, yeah. you, can you tell all the bones <clears throat> even or are they still markings on the wall? Uh here no. Um but here, I'm getting a picture of uh, the kind of bones and stuff you're running into. Yeah. Can I tell? Yeah. Uh huh. Cool. Um, can I tell when they were when they died? Like how long ago? Sure. Give me a forensics or forensic anthropology or whatever role. All right. It yeah. looks like it's getting worse as it goes, and yeah. Oh, while she's doing that, the other two, uh, give me, uh, because you're bored, because she's, like, stopping. Yeah. Stuff. Nice. <laughs> the other the other two guys, could you please give me spot hidden at half? You think that these skulls are super old, like, over 100 years old? Uh, they, they show signs of, like, the really crude <laughs> dental work. And stuff like that, but really super old. Maybe over a hundred years old. Maybe several hundred years old. I made mine. Up ahead, which you wouldn't have seen had she not wanted to stop and check out the skulls, it looks like a really hard to see, well disguised tripwire. It like looked like it leads off into uh, one of the the a little niche that you can't really see from where you're at. Around, I mean, I, you could I, you could go up and like peer around at it carefully if you wanted, but I point that out to the others. A trap. Hmm. I don't know if I want to go this way because there's no marks on the wall. Yeah, I think we should go back and maybe go down the the plant one, maybe. Basically, yeah. if there's marks, it might be a good way to go that way. Mm. Or, or this was so distinctive with all these skulls and shit that they were like, that we know where we are. Also, who, who the hell put the chip on there? That's another good question to ask. And <laughs> what does it lead to? It obviously leads to something you can't see, but what? Nah, let's go back. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Last we'll later. No problem. You guys head back to the area. It looks like it was dug out with claws, um, and into the roots hanging down that have been cut back. You continue along that until you go through a long tunnel, and you come to a really well maintained wooden bridge. On either side of the wooden bridge, it looks like some sort of super long drop into darkness. Ooh, fun. Yeah, but it's really well maintained. So it's it definitely like a totally, totally good bridge. All right. Well, let's go on. Wait. I checked to see if it's not an illusion or something. I touched the bridge. It feels like wood. All right. Just, just checking. All right. No I'm problem. Still be very cautious. Yes. Around. You cautiously are on the wood bridge. Uh, I Yeah. It seems sturdy. It seems like it's really here. You're hoping there's no trip wires. You don't see any. Uh, you cross it. <gasps> you live. <laughs> Eventually, you get to a, a climb going up, but there's like big, obvious, like uh, uh, 
uh, notches in the stone and stuff, like somebody is carefully placed hand and footholds. So if you wanted to go up it, you'd be at a plus 20% on your climb. No, I didn't have a what? I these, these notches are giving you almost the benefit you'd get from a rope. Well, no, I mean one of us. Oh, you did. I think we should climb up. I mean, obviously, uh, somebody went through a lot of time to make sure that it was safe to cross, yeah. safe to climb. So that could have been uh, any of Let's go. I mean, I can't really say I would have been that considerate, but somebody was. Everybody roll. I'm a plus twenty. Good luck. If you fall, you take some minor damage, and the rest of the party may laugh at you. It's good. Oh, uh -huh. good. Did Corey make it, or did he die horribly? No, oh, hey, you guys scamper on up there. Begin going through the tunnel. You're really, really grateful they brought a Coleman lantern and has not yet fallen off of something and broken it. Uh, could everybody give me a spot at half? Sure. Yep. Actually, add 5% to your spot at half if you'd like. Oh, oh, God, it all comes down. No problem. You guys are walking along. Are you sure you will want to go with that result? Um, it, it, shows, it shows, like, some horrible shit coming up. Um, I don't have, do have a replenish. I, I have a replenish, yeah. Oh. Do we want to use it now? Do we? That's a good question. I don't know. Corey, you're the expert. Do we do it? Uh, do we? Is there any danger sensing going on, Logan? Uh, sure. I'll give everybody a danger sense a half roll. Although, if you make that roll, then your spot is done. Uh oh. Oh. Mm. Ah. <laughs> <clears throat> so it's one, one last roll. Actually, somebody might get it. Who knows? Yeah, I, I actually we should uh, we should probably. I said we would it. Oh we're no! Planning. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's what plan is. Got. A user punish is what he said. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Card play for science. Oh, I have a re-roll on mine. You want to burn and that? another planet as well. Nice. You guys are getting some good cards. God dang it. Fuck. You okay there? Yeah, it, does, it keeps... Sometimes roll 20 is... It's not nice for me. I know. <laughs> it doesn't like you. <laughs> Here we go. What's this one? Uh, sorry, guys. Everyone immediately discards all cards but one. Uh, oh, got that error replenish, thank goodness. So that hit the reroll or the replenish? Is my question. Oh, definitely a replenish. Replenish, because then we can all. Yeah. No question. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll discard and then play the button. So, yeah. By the way, Ali, since you are, are uh, relatively new to card play and stuff, I'd be sure to tell the heirs which card you have, just because there may be some weird thing to one of the cards that's not entirely obvious. Gotcha. I mean, they're not skill plus five or whatever. You know what those do. But there's some weird cards in there. Okay. Yeah, I've got nothing. <laughs> what? What's making you laugh, Avoid? I got a party escape card. 
Uh, read it carefully before playing it. I know. I, I, I know. Okay. I'm just saying. I'm not playing it. I'm just saying. <laughs> I have it. No one's a vampire, right? Correct. You get a card for just that one. Okay. Yeah. Yet. <laughs> yeah. Eventually, I would like to have a whole bunch of different conditional cards and stuff like that in there. But it's been a while since we've done anything with vampires, and I think that was the only card that I was playtesting at the time. I discovered that having one PC be a vampire is a horrible idea. Oh, it's an all or nothing thing. This is the vampire's like, let's go out at night. And PCs are like, no, monsters are out at night. And he's like, I'm a monster. And they're like, you go out. <laughs> I'm out like a dog. He's like, God damn it. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, so. So no one has any gun. Nobody has any cards I have for a that? skill plus 15%. Mm. All right, well. We I can re-roll or we can re-danger sense. It's up to you. It's one row or the other in half. Uh, since Corey's got the, uh, the skill 15, he could always try danger sense at half plus 15. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, where I'll are you? My, okay. I'll play my assistant five on mm. him. Ooh. So are you guys all going for the danger sense of half roll? Well, I will. They don't. I don't know. Can they do something else? Or did well, they? All? Yeah, I just wanted to choose before you roll. Oh, gotcha. Um, yeah, I'll do danger sense as well. Okay. Yeah, what about you? Yeah, I'll do it. Too. Cool. And Everybody did danger sense in half except Corey's got a bunch of bumps. Bumps. I'll play my skill five on myself. And you got a bump. Cool. Now remember, if somebody offers you a bump <laughs> in the bathroom, it's totally different than the skill plus card. Oh wait, I didn't. Uh, I did didn't make it because okay. it's minus twenty five, so I literally made it on the. Ah, why? Yeah, right. Freddy goes wait. And hold you guys back. There's something up. I wait. I feel absolutely terrified, and I don't know why. Uh, Maybe it's another trap. Right. My, my, Everybody gets a skill uh, or a spot hidden at full, and when he says, "Maybe it's another trap." Now he yeah. does. Right. <laughs> Everybody except Allie, who's got her one foot up. You guys look, and under her foot is one of those trip line things. As it don't move. <laughs> She's balanced look, on one foot, holding it up. Look, look down, down and carefully <laughs> move your foot away. Okay, I move my foot back. Okay, all right. That's absolutely terrifying. It looks like uh, the it goes over to uh, something that's set into the wall and seems to be connected by wires to other things set in the wall. You're not sure what they are, but they all say front toward enemy. Those are bad. <laughs> <You're not> just... <laughs> Do we still want to continue running this way? <laughs> there seem to be a three of them. Holy three. crap. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Yeah, those are claymores. That's a little excessive, too. I don't yeah. know why. I but would you just, can uh, just walk over this tripwire? You, you can, but it is definitely wanting to make you be somewhere else in a very bad sort of way. Uh, plus, you're hoping that there isn't anything else because it looks like the floor has been made so that they could have even pressure plates or something. It's just no. Ooh, okay, so we shouldn't go this way. Right. I'm, not saying you can't. I'm saying it's that you're absolutely terrified right now. That's you, it, I mean, it had to be one of us who set this up. Because these, be, are, yeah. like, these are like 1970s Vietnam era Claymore mines. So it had to have been one of us that, that set it up. But why would they do that? Maybe they were being followed, or maybe. Oh no. 
So you're saying continue going down the death track? Well, I'm not. I'm not saying that exactly, but I'm just saying that that I don't know what. what I'm saying that definitely somebody, one of us, did modify this area. And I, if I find it difficult to believe they would go through all that trouble with the bridge and the handholds to make it easy to climb up to when, if it was an area you weren't supposed to go down, they could have just fucked the bridge or whatever it was and then not have to worry about setting up yeah. a trap here. Yeah. How about we just be extra vi vigilant on that one for trip wires? Pressure plates, those sorts of things. Well, I got a thing for trip wires that, that, that's easy. You take a piece of cloth and you tie it to the end of a stick like this, and, or a sword or whatever, and you just run it out in front of you. And when the cloth gets picked up by the trip wire, you know there's a trip wire in front of you. <laughs> Do we have a, well, I have a sword, scabbard, yeah. use that. Yeah. yeah something simple like that but you know you just make sure the cloth is long enough and it slightly drags them on the ground and then when, when you see that it gets picked up you'll know there's a trip wire. I don't have anything for pressure plates though. If I had the bowling ball, you just roll the bowling ball across the floor. I'm not uh, saying pressure that. Plates, but you're suspicious and paranoid now. <clears throat> Let's just look uh, for trip wires and then hope that yeah. uh continue on yeah. uh yeah. everybody everybody give me a maneuver dex dodge roll uh you just don't want to fumble this is crossing the big scary tripwire just don't fumble a fumble is a whoopsie daisy just don't fumble anything but a fumble is is working it no pressure. It's the exact same trip fire that she was like, oh, God, no. And then she goes, oh, okay, now it Step on this? <laughs> you guys caught up and three claymores go off in succession. <laughs> okay. I'm going to use a hero point and redo that because. Several ounces of plastic. All right, there we go. Oh, oh okay, great. Um, <laughs> perfect. On brand. Yay. You guys continue on. Right Eventually, you, you come to a, uh, a, a tunnel, and it goes, and, like, the tunnel itself exits the sewers, and it looks like there's, like, a hidden dock with a uh, cigar boat in it, one of those speedboat things. It's really fast. Um, and then it goes out into the ocean from here. Um, question. Do I recognize the boat as being the one that me and Doc Fulton saw? When we were fighting the big scary monster, there was a dude who like just sped across the water in a speedboat, and was yeah. like, "Ah, this, is, this yeah. is the same motherfucking goddamn you say." Okay, guys, I know where we are. <laughs> okay. okay. Can I do you drive one of those? <laughs> Everybody looks at it. It's not a car. <laughs> Who's that? Um, I'll have a look around. Is there anything else besides the speedboat? Any keys are in the yeah. ignition. It looks like there's uh, some food, water, bandages, a first aid kit, um, glow sticks, um, uh, the little flashlights that you can put in a headband and then you got the little mag light things with the LEDs and stuff, one on either side of your head so that when somebody says something to you, you look at them and go, huh? And they go, ah, blind! So, so right, somebody um, a little cachet of stuff here. Oh, that's probably why they didn't want anyone following them. I'm gonna fit in. And yeah, look for the others. Sure. There's a bunch of cigarettes, like maybe a hundred cartons, uh, one of which is open. They all appear to be mar or no, they're all red apple cigarettes. I thought so. Who's um, those? 
I found one of those in the asylum. Everything's connected. Yeah, I remember Cigarette to Museum, but I didn't write it down. Yeah, this is the same thing. <laughs> Alright, well, I... As I'm, like, peering out into the vast ocean of water, I'm just like... Oh, yeah. Breathing really, really heavily breathing, like... He seems to be having problems with the water. You uh, give me uh, psychoanalysis rolls. The other two who aren't Freddy plays psychoanalysis. Freddy, take a card there for stuff. Okay. Huh. Doctor Stephen Yang's like, I'm not getting paid for this. Are you okay, <laughs> Freddy? Yeah, no, it's just, uh, water makes me feel a bit, um, oh, it's a bit uneasy, and it's, it's a lot of water, because there's a lot. Okay. It's okay, I, 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 I can drive, just, just, uh, or if one of you want to drive, that's okay, too. Uh, first off, though, I should probably heal and not die, because I'm at... Seven hit points, and that's not ideal. So Didn't instead, of, instead of giving a instead of giving a number, say I'm still heavily wounded. Okay. That keeps it in game. Got you. Oh wow. Anyway, if anyone oh. wants to help me with that, uh, unfortunately, they can't first aid you anymore. And in order to give you more healing, <laughs> you would need to find a nice doctor's uh, uh, operating room. And then they'd have to do medicine on you, which, given their general incompetency, would scare the crap out of you. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. I'll be. I'm good. Okay. I'm <laughs> fine. She says. Uh, can, I, can I attempt to <clears throat> calm Freddie down? Uh, he's 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 actually handling it pretty well right now. He's just like. Yeah, I'm like cycling myself out. Just like, okay, let's do this. Come on. All right. And then I just jump into the boat and like, it's just water. It's not going to be no scary monster. We already you, killed it. Could you give me a jump roll and just not fumble? I just oh, want to see a fumble when you jump into the boat because it would amuse me. I'm just right. curious if you're going to flop out the air side, fall in the water, and start screaming. No, just oh, fail. okay. You flop into the boat. <laughs> you say, okay. "I'll get in the boat too." <laughs> Carefully yeah. get in the boat. All right, you guys are all in the boat. Keys are in it. Do you have motorboat skill? No. Awesome. <laughs> this is one of those like really oversouped boats. It looks like more than half of it seems to be engine. So and it it's just notoriously uh, tricky on the controls. The merest uh, little bit forward in the controls can almost flip the boat. You are ready to rock. It looks like it's uh, lashed to the dock, so, you know, have somebody else unlash it or cut the ropes or whatever you're wanting to do. Then you can go out and ram it into the side of the cave wall on your way out to the ocean. Can I, can I see from where we are? Is there land somewhere? Uh, you can't tell from here. You're looking out into the ocean, so you're not sure exactly where you are. It seems to be some sort of hidden cave would be your guess. Okay. Is that a paddle by any chance? A what? A paddle. A paddle? No, there's no yeah. freaking paddle. These things are massive engines. These that are made know. to run uh, uh, the uh, Coast Guard boats so they can safely smuggle their stuff, or in this case, possibly oh, cigarettes yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever. Does the anyone have any, any assistance for this Well, by any chance? This is going to be fun. Um, I don't have anything that can help you out. By the way, you... I'm, I'm, I'm taking the amazing greed card, so I can't participate anymore in cards. Yeah, well then, yeah, they yeah they can't trade you anything or anything like that. But they that. can You're play just... something. Yeah. yeah, they can play assistance, but... Yeah. Now, you prepare to kill the entire party in a really massively overpowered boat. You can Look do on. it. 
Yep. Uh, he might just start it up and the engine noise is really loud. Like, yeah. it's ready to, ready to go. And you are thinking, this is, it's kind of like putting a 15 year old behind the wheel of a Maserati. <laughs> Just not a good idea. You're you're just feeling the power of this thing. You are starting to feel your stomach drop. Can I just put it in like the lowest speed possible? Right. You barely nudge the thing. Go ahead and give me a. You're you're going for really slow. So go ahead and give me a boating a plus twenty for the motorboat thing here. Good I luck. have navigation C at uh, higher than learn. If he starts to move out, if he makes, if you guys survive to get out of the cave without him ramming you into the wall and sinking the boat, then you might be able to start making those rolls. You just need some charts. He goes <laughs> and begins to slowly scrape the boat along the side of the cave, and it's the most excruciating, loud, slow, crunching noise you've ever heard in your life. Water begins to seep into the. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, let me, let me be no, it's, you're not sinking fast. I'm just saying you're just continuing to scrape along the uh, side of the oh, wall. But the, we're, not, we're not in any danger of like sinking. Not yet. I mean, eventually, yes. You know, with the water right. starting to spin, but I'll for continue. now, you're fine. I'll continue then. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going well. <laughs> Do you want to have a roll? <laughs> give, give me another learn a plus 20 roll as you continue a long, long scrape. Uh, it's only another uh, 50 feet or so to go along the edge of the tunnel here. Nope. <laughs> All the way to the end where it comes. And water, water is coming in more quickly now. But it, I mean, as long as you're bailing, you should it should be, you know, okay. It's hard to think. I mean, I'm assuming they are doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. sure. I don't want to die. They're they're bailing. No problem. You go out and you look back and you can see the city and it's the post-apocalyptic thing where they're shredding the building still. I hate my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you realize you're in a big, big. Wait! 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 wait, wait. What? I have an idea. Um, mm -hmm. how much? How many days of food do we have, potentially? Couple, two, three. All right, I'm going to try and shadow walk us out of here. Nice. Go ahead and give me a shadow walking roll. And I'm going to pick. Hmm? Um, I need to pick where we're going. Let me think. Yes. Um. You're going to be trying to go in a straight line, which is good. That's easier. And not um, horribly fast. Just trying to think where we can go. Not Burlington. Hmm. That would be bad. Hmm. Maybe Pretty Gotham. Quick. Gotham would be okay. What do you Although, we're in a boat. I'm not sure how we'd end up there. Um, oh, you've been in Gotham you... before. they got water. Oh, yeah. Oh, they have one. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Okay, then maybe. So does Burlington. Yeah, but Burlington has agents, and they might still be there. I don't know. And a big whirlpool. <laughs> Giant. With a big scary monster in it. Mm. Yeah. Um. I just yeah. read something um, about Gotham. <laughs> so, Gotham? Yeah, Gotham. Sure. Roll Shadow Walk. Good luck. And you can pick up the pace and stuff so you don't have to spend as long here, which would really help you out. But yeah, yeah. it all comes down to this important role. As he begins to subtly alter reality oh. and fail. I want to leave all it. Well, I don't know. We have days worth of food, right? If you need, a, I have a card that replenishes magic points if you need that. It doesn't cost magic points. Um. You notice as you're going that uh, there seems to be like uh, some sort of drone thing that uh, may have spotted you. Yep, we will, we will, we will. Uh, I didn't say it definitely did. I mean, it doesn't go because it has no face. It's just a camera. Well, I can't. If I don't reroll, we have to wait another day. Yes. For me to do this, so. Yes. Yeah. Well, you got 
is in. That's not good. Uh, sure. it's not good. Hold on. Closer. Yeah, the wall. Come on. Come on. No. Are you kidding? Oh. That's me. We should be able to outrun a drone. He's scared to go fast in the boat because he thinks he'll flip it. He's gonna flip. It's a giant ocean, huh? You can't, you can't hit anything. No, no. It, the problem is the engine is so powerful you can literally flip the boat. Which he will. And it looks like the drone is uh, uh, going to catch up to you. Now he's still spending arrows. I'll wait until he runs out of hero points and says, we're going to die. <laughs> How many hero Why points do have left? Uh, seven. Oh, you're fine, fine, fine. Can I, can I spend the hero points for him to reroll? Or? No, no, you don't have to have a shadow walk skill because nobody's taking you to... Uh, well, actually, you could try to go all the way to Amber and this if you wanted to change your destination. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, I'm not Amber is a part of this? Uh-huh. You suck ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's where they got shadow walk, sir. Oh. <laughs> all right, well, I just spent all, I spent all the hero points I would have gained from this amazing read card. So. <laughs> That's what it looks like when your dad's mind gets blown. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, we will still. Oh, wow. <laughs> On a fumble, a giant kraken comes. <laughs> the tentacles come out. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> oh, look at his little face. Hello, Corey. Hello. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sweating now, Corey? <laughs> well, so when everybody talked about how it, you know, it was just different zones. And it seemed to be like all connected. All I could think of was Ghost Wheel, and I was like, eh, "There's no way <laughs> we're on Ghost Wheel. No way. Oh, finally, <laughs> we'd be on it again." <laughs> <laughs> you know, now you do, oh, Amber's here. Oh my God! This you know, crazy. that's that's a nice thing about running for a long time is you can bring back campaigns from like before your daughter was even born and fuck the players with them even harder. <laughs> oh my god. All right, made it finally. How many down to you have, sir? I have two left. Wow. Yeah. Right. He, is, he is looking exhausted. Uh, he shifts through space and time. The sky gets darker and eventually it begins to drizzle rain and after a couple of days you guys are in some sort of harbor and there's uh, uh, other boats and stuff going around and you guys are trundling in there at a fairly slow speed. You two are exhausted. Uh, you've been sleeping in patches and stuff, but this is good because, uh, let's see, only Allie needs healing, correct? Yeah, I think so. You get two chances at this, so give me a willpower roll. Lower is better. Uh, you want to go for the times five willpower thing. It's a stat near the top. Uh huh. The times five. Correct. You're hoping to make it low. Okay. So the first <laughs> night you didn't heal anything. Try one more time. Good luck. Wow. I gotta say, I know that the the starting max is sixty, but the players have not been doing well on their rolls. Ah, times four. You healed up one hit point because you're only allowed to heal them one at a time for some reason I can't figure out. Wait, right. what do we heal? Okay, I heal it for two hit points. Sorry, it's two. Two hit times points? Five, times five is one, times four is two. So there you go. And then can we also use first aid over the couple of days or no? No, no, she's 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 done for. She's a goner. But <laughs> No problem. You guys uh, sail in. It's dark. It's cold. It feels like November, and it's drizzling down rain. Do they get dark, brooding? What? Do they get clouds? Have they been here before? Oh, I've never been here. I know she hasn't been here before. She hasn't <laughs> done that. So, new cards. And 
And let's see. Corey picks up the King of Cups and the Hierophant. Yes, I know she just picked up the Hierophant, but this is in our deck. And let's see. Uh, you pick up, Spark, uh, the Fool and the Chariot. Oh, the Major Arcana. Nice. Uh -huh. Well, the King right. of Cups isn't, but the Arthur, yes. Yeah, the Arthur, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um... I hate my life. The buildings right. are dark and brooding. Many of them have gargoyles and such set atop them or along their walls. There's the spotlights and such that go in stabbing into the dark clouds above. The I'll city. take the I'll take the keys so no one that that park somewhere. Yeah, you, you 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 get the boat close enough to land that you guys can scramble on it. You're not as okay. worried about taking the keys because as soon as people stop bailing, you're pretty convinced it will sink. Remember I the, take a, uh, a couple of cartons of cigarettes. <laughs> great. You got two cartons of apple apple cigarettes. Red apple cigarettes. Can I just... This is stupid. If I just drive it a bit more, so it's a bit more on land, can I do that? You go... And you, the bottom just grinds away. Yeah. Uh, you're pretty sure that somebody will still be able to steal it. They just have to be a little more motivated. I'll take the keys, just in case, and get out. Praise the whoever God is in this reality. Cthulhu. And, uh, Cthulhu, cool. No, no, don't pay Cthulhu. Um, and I'll uh, try and find my way to cleanse, I suppose. He starts walking off without a word. He looks like a beaten, dejected, uh, humbled man. Hey, uh, yeah. where are we? Oh, oh, sorry, I'm just not. Yeah, we're uh, actually we're in uh, we're in Gotham, the place where we were gonna do the whole spice run. I suppose we still could do that. Hmm. <laughs> this is where people are getting superpowers, but they're kind of dumb. Uh, no, but a few of the others. Are wanted here, and they dress up as superheroes. But yes, I think mm, there were some people getting random superpowers, but they were really stupid. Don't know what's up with that. As he says, but they were really stupid. You hear a farting noise coming from overhead, and see a guy flying backward. Yeah, see. <laughs> oh no, goes mad. You hear? All right, well, I have um, $2,000 on me, so we could, uh, we need a truck. So we Actually, buy a truck. A warm bed with real sheets that you're not sleeping oh, yeah. in partial water, maybe a hot shower, a meal. These things are also on All right, let, let's just find cleanse, go to MMO land or the embassy or something, eat, sleep, and then figure out what, what we'll do that next. Give me okay. a direction sense to end your misery earlier as you wander around the city, wondering where Clums could be, as this city is... Is there signs or anything? What's that? There's signs, like... This you're way here. No. no, I mean, like, oh, well... <laughs> right, good point. Can we not rest here, or is this not a place that you can get a place uh, to rest? We can. We can. Um... But let me see if I can. Oh, I found my way to Clems. Oh, I mean, he takes you right to Clems. Aha. Take a check in direction sense. A very yeah. useful skill. He takes you over to Clems and goes, ah, and he almost runs toward it. Ah, I'm so happy. It's closed. It's nighttime. Wait, no, it's always night here. Give me a luck roll, uh, Freddy, to see if it, if it's uh, closed or if the gym messes with you a little less. Luck and full. Yeah, it's open. Looks like they'll be closing soon, but he rushes in and keeps uh, Clem away from the door. <laughs> All right. Hot towel in the shade, please, Clem. Where are you going back to? MMO land. Them too? <laughs> yes. All right. 
he puts hot towels on all of your guys' faces, and when they're taken off, you have yet more cards, I believe. Neither of you have been here before, correct? Mm -hmm. Wow, somebody's going to be just pleased as punch with all these new cards coming in. Corey picks up the five and the six of swords. And Spark picks up the nine of swords and the eight of cups. I call her Spark because that's the only name on the thing and my brain hurts. So Go ahead. Don't fall for having it on the, the uh, uh, Hangouts thing. Yeah. You know. So. All right. So once we're there, oh, wait. The hot okay. towels are taken off and you guys are looking down the barrels, so to speak, of three different ballistas. There appear to be a lot of armed and armored guards in uh, various fantasy motifs. They also have a ca uh, catapult and a uh, um, some sort of uh, multiple spear thrower, like that slaps a big board and stuff, all pointed at the Clem's shop. Jave, says Clem, as you guys no, no. but tighten How, up. Wait, hold on, hold on. Logan, did you say five or and six of cups? Swords. Swords. Uh, yes, can we leave? I mean, this doesn't look safe at all. Oh, well, Hard it, stuff. It's a nice day outside, aside from oh, all well, the weapons. All the types of other thoughts. The, hold on, sir. Go a little bit more to your left. You don't want to hit the traps. Uh, sorry. Sorry. I had a rough day. Stay with me. Just all right. All right. We recognize you. Don't remember his name, but we we remember you. So they. Well, I'm well known around here. What do you mean? Oh, you are, actually, you're, you're one of the guys. That, uh, his name is going to be on the new crane when we can make yeah. it. Oh, by the way, please let McKay know we need help opening and closing the giant gate. I did. He knows. He's uh, working on it. No problem. Uh, they lead you through a bunch of like different booby traps and stuff like that in a meandering pattern. Apparently, they really don't want anybody unauthorized coming out of the clubs. They are loaded for bear. Like, they know what these things are used for. Welcome to uh, Kindleville. You too. Uh, hope you enjoy your day. As he gestures around, it looks like there's a combination of different kind of fantasy buildings here, uh, some of which seem to have been made by people with absolutely no skill in making buildings but trying hard. Other buildings seem completely professionally done. But what makes it weird is there's a bunch of stuff that's very obviously been scavenged from Burlington that is here as well. For example, you notice uh, windows on one of the houses have windshield wipers because they're still attached to a windshield that was stolen out of a car. Things like that are everywhere. Some of the people are wearing clothing from the Burlington Longs clothing store. <laughs> Other people are wearing more fantasy type clothing. I. Uh, your your uh, clothing and stuff that you've got, Jesse, seems to fit right in because it's like sturdy adventurer clothing. Unfortunately, your clothing looks like it's had too much adventure. So, <laughs> I mean, sleeping for a couple of days in a, a boat that's uh, uh, perpetually leaking because one of you slept while the other one uh, bailed and stuff, and then he would like doze off intermittently and be sitting there <laughs> going, I gotta ship that stuff. Yes, somehow. Ah. <laughs> it got really weird partway through because, you know, that little sleep does it. But uh, what, Freddie leads you guys over to a uh, building, newly rebuilt. It looks like a brand new building. It's been built pretty well, not quite as expert as some of the buildings for some reason. And it looks like it's a, a homely house. It's got uh, several beds in it, uh, kind of an open plan type thing. It's got uh, a large large amount of alcohol in here for some reason mostly whiskeys but there are kinds as well and uh you know people come over and they're like oh hello would you like some food i grab a bottle and i'm just yes a, please a swig of it no yeah. problem uh, they, they feed you and uh give you hot soups and uh make sure you know where the changes of clothes are and it looks like all the bed sheets and stuff are from burlington as well it looks like they've been scavenging the shit out of Burlington for a while. 
everybody wanders around with like uh everybody seems to be armed even if it's only with some sort of long dagger everybody's got swords or shields or spears or whatever you know all medieval weaponry 